Hey guys, it's Madeline. Thank you so much for being here to watch my video. I'm so excited because I feel like this is the perfect video to do right after a failed Sephora haul. If you missed it, I will have it linked in the description box down below, but I was so unhappy with so many new things that I purchased. I returned so much of it. And I think like what a better time than now to appreciate what I already have. So I wanna just kinda like shop my own makeup stash, pick out products that I have not used in a hot minute and see if I refall in love with it. Before we go ahead and get into shopping my own stash, I just wanna talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing today. So if you have followed me for quite some time, you know how much I love Ana Luisa jewelry. They are so kind. I just think it is the biggest blessing that they want to continue to collaborate with such a small channel like me. Like I'm just a little baby influencer, you know? So I really have a lot of respect for the brand just right off the get-go with that. I just wanted to zoom you guys in and show you what I am wearing. So it has been a few years now that they have been working with me. And honestly, you guys, their jewelry is hands down my most favorite. It is high end quality with an affordable price tag for that good quality. And if you aren't new here, you might remember me saying that I actually wore Ana Luisa earrings on my wedding day. And now I'm kind of playing around with using one of their rings as a wedding band because I didn't go with a wedding band. I didn't like how it looked with my ring. I don't want it to like compete or add to it and look like I have two bands with like one diamond. Like I want it to be its own separate ring. And for me, I like to mix metals. So like, my wedding ring is silver, but then like my other rings or my earrings are gold. So I'm like, what if I did a gold wedding band? So to kind of trial that idea out, I chose the ring Celine. I do not have the most beautiful nails to be featuring rings, <laughs> but honestly, you guys, I am kind of obsessed. And all of their gold jewelry is dipped in 14 karat gold. So I am super impressed. The only thing is for me, I just don't want it to look like my ring is soldered. So when it falls together, I'm like, mm, that's not really my vibe. But if they're a little bit separated, I really love it. And honestly, Oh, I should go grab my other ring for you guys. I'm actually contemplating buying their Ever Ring in a size six to use as a wedding band because I like this even more. Like it's its own separate ring. I feel like even though it is so different, it doesn't like mesh with my ring. Like it's still able to stand out on its own while this stands out. I'm like, oh, I really like this one as a wedding band. So I think I am gonna pick it up in a tinier size. I'm just gonna show you guys. So I currently own a size eight in the Ever Ring and I like to wear it like, you know, middle finger, pointer finger, or even like on my thumb. I just think it's such a cute ring. But let me kind of give you the idea of this ring being used as a wedding band. It's big, so it's hard to kind of picture it, but I just think it is so gorgeous. I'm trying to like keep it squished together. I even like it on the top. Isn't that just pretty and different? I just think it is so cool. It's so unique. And of course, the Celine is gorgeous all on its own. I'm like trying to be a hand model. I just love how simple their jewelry is because I'm not that much of a jewelry wearer. And when I do wear it, I want it to be very like low key, not super out there. So this ring on my pointer finger is Everly. Just a Perfect, simple gold band, which could, I mean, honestly, also be used as a wedding band. It's just a cheaper alternative if you're kind of playing around with it. Cause like who wants to drop $600 on a wedding band that they don't even know if they really want or like. That's why I didn't get one. I also really like just having that gold one on my thumb. And then for earrings, what I'm wearing here is the Paris Small, which is so cute. Honestly, I just want the regular size Paris now because I love it. Like just for a bigger, like a little bit more of a statement. Now I want the normal size Paris because I just think that they are so adorable with that rope style. And then the ones next to it, I am honestly, I'm gonna botch this name, Gilia, I'm pretty sure is how you say it. It's just a simple huggy hoop, which is beautiful with a simple gold ring. That is what I am rocking today. Anna Luisa has so many sales coming up right now, you guys. So for their Black Friday sale, it's buy one, get one 60% off. I have a 20% off coupon code that will be linked down below for you guys. And then also they're gonna have a couple other sales coming up like Cyber Monday, a winter sale. So just keep your eyes open. If you wanna try Anna Luisa, now is the time. If you wanna kind of like, I have some things that you want, I will also have them linked in the description box down below, followed with my coupon. 
little pun called. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into shopping my stash. Okay, guys, so here is my vanity. This is all the makeup that I use all the time. So I'm gonna be trying to avoid that except for the mascara. I will be using this because I'm pretty sure my old Ilia is pretty dried up by now. Otherwise, I'm mainly going to be focusing in this drawer here, which is still pretty messy. Let's start off kind of over here with the base products. So I really want to give this primer a shot today. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. This doesn't control my oils as well as the Haley's Beauty, but it is really a beautiful primer. So I haven't used it in a very long time. And then for my foundations here, I have a few too many Estee Lauder double wears back there. What else do we have? It has been a hot minute too since I've used the NARS matte. Oh gosh, it's all, it's all separated. I was thinking about using the Makeup Revolution foundation, but I don't know what it is, if this breaks me out or something. I don't know, I'll just kind of put that to the side. For concealer, it's actually been quite some time since I've used the Lancome Tint Isol. So let's definitely go in with that. I wonder if I should do a cream bronzer. It has seriously been so long since I've used the Chanel cream bronzer. So maybe I'll go in with this. It honestly might be a little bit too hard to go in with it, like physically hard. It's probably dried out a little bit by now. I always did keep this on it though, so. Gosh, I did not get enough use out of this. It is really hard. I don't think I'll be able to go in with it. It has been a minute since I've used the Soul Body Bronzer. Oh, I have that screwed on too tight. I definitely did get a lot of use and love out of this. It looks kind of nasty. You know what? It has been so long since I've used the Marc Jacobs bronzer. I don't even know if this is being sold anymore at this point. I mean, this is just such a good neutral bronzer. For powder, nothing controls my oils better than the ColourPop No Filter powder, but let's still reach for something that I have not used in a hot minute. I don't even know if I've ever used this on camera, so let's go for it. For blush, I have always really loved this Tarte Parte blush. The party. This is a beautiful light nude, and I kind of want to show it some love again, so let's go in with that highlighter. Um, What I really haven't used for years, especially on camera, is the Benefit Cookie highlighter, so let's see if I still love that. Oh, but you know what else I haven't used for a while for concealer is the Hourglass. Honestly, I I feel like the hourglass would work better with the NARS. I'm thinking for the lips that I want to use something in my little, I don't know, lipstick stash over there that I have barely touched. I think for gloss, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. This is in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. I think that's so cute. So let's use that. I also think that I wanna do a winged liner. It's been a really long time since I have. So let's pull out the Maybelline Hyper Easy Liner. I love this stuff. For contour, I actually don't have anything else besides my Dior Backstage Contour Palette, so I'm pretty sure that's all I'm just gonna stick to. I could use the KKW Beauty Contour, but I don't even like consider this contour because it just didn't work well at all for that. Now I just use it as an eyeshadow. So I'll go over here for the eyeshadow and lipstick. Wait, I don't even know if I wanna use either of those for foundations because I almost forgot about this neglected little stash over here. It has been even longer since I have used the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I might go in with this. This is in the shade Five Cool. I'm kind of confused why I got that. Or Four Neutral. Yeah, actually, let's go in with one of these. I like what we have going on here. I think it's gonna be good. But the Airbrush Flawless with the Cover FX. I think I am actually gonna go in with the Ilia powder because I mean, that is pretty neglected anyways. <laughs> there we go, I switched a couple things up, but we're fine. For eyeshadow, I was kind of cheating and thinking about this earlier. I think I'm gonna go in with That's Taupe by ColourPop. I haven't used this in so long and it has such good, cool neutrals. Cause I'm almost thinking, like, like for a Thanksgiving look of using the uh, Bebo palette by Natasha Denona. These are definitely more on the warm side. But look at that deep cranberry, the shade Pasha. So pretty. So I think I'm gonna save this for like a soft, well, I don't know, maybe kind of heavy, a Thanksgiving look. Add that over 
put here. Okay, for lipstick, I have seriously neglected all of these. I feel so bad, don't mind pumpkin. <laughs> I feel like I wanna get back into using my Gucci lipsticks because otherwise they are just gonna dry up and get old and go to waste and they are way too expensive for that. Both of these are so beautiful. One is in the shade Margaret Candle Flame and then the other is Linda Beige. I mean, I just, Cannot get over this packaging. It is, I feel like it's worth it. <laughs> I really love a lot of these in here and I need to just start using them again, but I am gonna go in with one of these. Then for a lip liner, there's so many shades that I just don't like or use anymore. It's been a really long time since I've used Nude One by KKW Beauty, so I think this is what I'm gonna go in with. Oh, what about the Patrick Todd? Actually, let's go in with this because it has been so long since I've used this. So this is in the shade She's Proud. All right, you guys, I have everything I wanna use, so let's do it. Okay, guys, so I already have my Neutrogena Hydro Boost moisturizer on my face, so that's not switching up. So let's go in with that Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. I'm gonna give this a really good shake because it has been a hot minute since I've used it. Okay, I hope that this doesn't come out liquidy because that would just like, <laughs> give me the creeps. We're good, it's nice and thick. I swear it's even thicker than I remember. Like, oh yeah. I like that consistency. Hopefully this stuff doesn't break <laughs> I mean, my skin is already not in the best place, so if it does, it doesn't really matter. Okay, this actually feels so good. Might be falling in love with this again. It's almost a little too silicone-y, and usually a silicone does nothing for my oily skin. But I mean, it feels nice. It does do a pretty decent job at blurring pores. So now, let's figure out which shade is going to work for me. Five Cool 4 Neutral. I just remember 4 Neutral being like a little bit too yellow, and that's why I went for a cool. Just gonna give them both a really good shake because they have been sitting for at least a year, which is so bad. It's just they weren't my favorite. Charlotte Tilbury just really doesn't impress me. I think her products are very underwhelming. You should have high expectations because of how expensive her products are. I mean, like this foundation is okay, but it's not the best. I'm just gonna do a little. Mmm, Cool looks a little bit iffy. Before and is just so, I don't know. I mean, truly the Five Cool is it looks like it's gonna be a better match. This looks so yellow. Mm. Let's do five cool and see what happens. I just kinda like see what I mean. I'm like, why? Now the five cool doesn't even look that good. Okay, now I just have like a ton on this cheek, so. You know what too, I always apply this with a sponge. I'm gonna try it with a brush and see if I like it any different. This brush is from NYX. I literally just bought this this week from Ulta and it is so good, you guys. I can't remember the exact name of it, but this is what it looks like. It's such a like thick, consistency with a strange undertone. Like the undertone just does not look natural at all. It's just kind of what made me shy away from this foundation in the first place. I mean, it doesn't look, it just is so yellow, even with a cool undertone. I mean, the coverage is incredible with this brush. It does look really pretty on the skin. I just wish that the colors were better. I'm just gonna stick with Five Cool because it doesn't even look cool. <laughs> Looks pretty dang warm. Okay, so I feel like this is the best way to apply it. I'm just used to my Dior Backstage foundation where I like do streaks of it. This is pretty matte right off the bat. It kind of tugs on the skin a little bit more as you're trying to apply it. Yeah, I definitely think I prefer to use a brush because it just seems less like patchy. I went in with way too much. You know what? I think five cool is okay. I do. Like, I can make this work. But don't you guys swear this is not a cool undertone? I feel like I'm falling in love with this foundation all over again using a brush though. Honestly. It looks really good. Another thing is this foundation doesn't feel heavy. I really like that. I just might like this again. I need to go get my sponge wet because I totally blinked and forgot to do that. I do want to apply the Hourglass Concealer with a sponge, so I'm gonna get back. So this is their Vanish Concealer and it is so beautiful, but again with their shades, like this was the best for me, but it's so light. I only need a little bit. I just remember the rest like getting dark really fast in the neutral range, so this was the only one that worked out. Did I even say the name? It's Birch. It's so pretty though. I mean, this is the perfect shade for a really bright under eye for me. 
I just think it's so pretty. Like, I'm definitely gonna start reaching for this more. I love this video. Like, I'm so glad that I'm doing this. It's so pretty. Okay, so let's keep blending out this schnoz here. It goes really good with this foundation, actually. I am quite impressed. Oh, you know what else, you guys? I think I wanna set my under eyes, too, with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have not used this in so long. In the shade Fair One, we're gonna have to use this, too. Blending it all out a little bit more with my Sigma F03. Take a sip of my lemon water which is borderline homemade lemonade because I like a lot of lemons. It's healthy. How I'm going to do this so that I don't have way too light of an under eye is I'm gonna set everything with my Ilia and then go in with my beauty blender and like pat this on top just underneath my eyes. So going in with the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is stark white. One thing I am loving from the Sephora sale is their powder brush. It's just the Ilia, like I love that it's a clean powder, but I I like need that talc in my powder to control my oils, which kind of stinks. I feel like with how fine this is too, it just kind of gets all over the place when I use it. I don't like this white cast all over my nose. I would not repurchase this. It's giving me bad flashbacks of the Tarte Amazonian Clay setting powder that I bought in my Sephora sale. However, this feels very light on the skin. Does not feel like I'm applying cornstarch like that Tarte one. I mean, it looks really good on top of this foundation. Now to double set, let's go in with the Flawless Finish Powder. and just gonna take my sponge and rub it on there and pat this on. I just don't think this is a necessary purchase. I mean, was that even necessary? No. Next, I'm just going in with my normal Dior contouring palette. When I first started YouTube, I was using the NYX contour palette, and when I tried this, there was no going back. Contour, contour, contour. I don't even need to add it in music for you guys. I can just sing to you. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring a little bit of this up onto my temple area. Next up, using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Let's see. Yeah, this is one that I can do without. Like, it's weird. It looks so cool tone in the pan, but then on the skin, it's just like a classic, slightly orange undertone bronzer. So, yep, I can do without it. Not still in love with this. Let's do the Tarte Party Blush. That is so pretty, it's so soft. I feel like because it's so soft, you really have to use a lot to build it up though. That is one Amazonian clay product that I like. Like I would definitely purchase more of their blushes. It's a really good, like I would say neutral pink. Benefit cookie highlighter. This is very icy. I like don't even wanna use it. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's not that bad, my gosh. Get it together, Madeline. Okay, I actually still really enjoy this. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Eyebrows. This is another product that is just not switching up. This is my ColourPop Brow Boss. Okay, moving on to the eyeshadow. ColourPop Totally Toe. Let's start off with this shade here and a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna set my whole lid with this. Next, in our crease, let's go in with Pebble Beach right there. I'm gonna take this a little bit underneath my eye. I wanna do a liquid wing, but I also wanna do something with this shade here. This is rock steady down here. Kind of pop this into the lash line. Let's go in with slated right here in the inner corner. Yeah, that's pretty. A little razzle dazzle. Okay, next let's just go in with a little bit of the Maybelline Hyper Easy. I'm telling you guys, this is the best liquid liner out there. It goes on so smooth. 
Okay, I think I'm forever gonna do a left-sided wing off camera because that just went really well in a lot of pants store. Next, I am setting this in a place with my usual Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I do not enjoy any other setting spray about this one. I've been using it for years upon years. And any other setting spray that I've tried in between them, I'm not impressed by. I'm also gonna use my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Swerve, it's just black, in my upper waterline, because I am gonna go in with some lashes. There we go. That'll just help to marry the mascara and the lashes with the eyeliner together. So starting with mascara, this is the Essence Lash Princess that I have really been enjoying. So I'm just gonna do one coat of this. For lashes, I totally forgot to film me picking these out, but these are the Ardell 3D Faux Mink. Lashes, is my camera focusing? I bought these a while ago and clearly have not used very many. <laughs> so really pretty lash, they're a little fluffy. So I'm going in with my Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive. Just looking down into the mirror. Using my tweezers to adjust it. That was the easiest lash that I've applied in a long time. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have not worn fake eyelashes in so long. It feels weird. Like, oh yeah, you can only use 50% of your vision now. It's just kind of blocked off. <laughs> it's just, I don't wear them as much as I used to. Okay, I just did the other lash off camera because my camera is dying. I'm taking way too long. So let's speed this on up. I'm going in with the Patrick Tosh She's Proud Lip Liner. I always loved how it's like, a little clicker thing to move it up instead of twisting. You guys, I love these lashes. Honestly, I think they're so good. Oh my gosh, it's so old. I don't know if I can use <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so old, you guys. It's like, oh, it's bad. Yeah, this has to get thrown out. Hold on. So let's go in with a KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner, which I guess she doesn't even sell these anymore, right? I mean, I wonder when she will again. I don't remember it being this dark. Is this even the right color? Like, I swear I never used to look like this. Please hold. Okay, so I tried to wipe some of that off. That is not my color. I cannot believe I used to be so obsessed with it. I'm doing the Dose of Colors Daisy Lip Liner. We'll see. Yeah. It'll do for today. <laughs> I don't like it when lip liners pull a warm undertone. Let's go in with that Wet n Wild lip gloss. Oh wow. I forgot it was so nude. Like honestly, I don't even need that lipstick. I mean, I knew it was really nude, but I didn't realize it was that pigmented. Oh, it's a high shine lipstick. It's not just a lip gloss. I mean, it's really pretty for a drugstore nude. But I want a gloss, so it's been a while. Let's use the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade White Cherry. You gotta love when things aren't working out as your camera's dying, it's like, ah! Okay, so Margaret, oh, Linda Beige is actually gonna be too pale to add on top of this. So let's go in with the Margaret Candle Flame. It's just a hint, I don't wanna say warmer beige, but kinda, oh yeah. Oh, that is so beautiful. That's a wrap for the makeup then. So this is the final look and honestly, I really like it. Like I am definitely going to be reaching for these products more. I'm just looking at this mirror, sorry. Like my skin looks, it actually looks really darn good. Let's do one more close up. What do you guys think? I think it turned out really good. I mean, I definitely, I will never use the KKW Beauty Lip Liner again. See, this was good too because it helps me declutter that much more. Like, I'm not gonna use the Marc Jacobs Tantastic anymore. Patrick Todd needs to get tossed out. 
She's old. She's still proud, but she's old. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa Jewelry if you are on the hunt for high quality pieces. I know I said it before, but I will have their link with my coupon code linked down below in the description box. Thank you so much again, Anna Luisa, for collaborating with me in this video. You guys have to take advantage of their sales going on. Now is the time. If you have heard me talking about them in previous videos, get the good jewelry while it is on sale. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button to help me get a little bit closer to a thousand subscribers. I appreciate all of you so much. I will see you all very soon because I actually also want to get a tutorial up before Thanksgiving. So I just am on a roll. I feel so good about it, you guys. So thank you for your love and your support. You guys are just so amazing. I'll see you very shortly. Bye!